and this is probably something very important to you. You know, God does, Jesus did mention the number of the beast. 666, six, six. he does. But, you know, when I was studying the hours, the, the Jewish hours, uh, you know, it, it, you know, God revealed to me, you know, this. And it, uh, well, I was able to see what Jesus was really telling us in the book of Mark, chapter 13. But let me give you a little, little again, uh, remind you of, you know, in the Jewish uh, days started at 6, well, the Jewish night ended at 6 uh, a.m. And it started, so the first hour, uh, the day started right after that. So the first hour of the day would be 7 a.m., the second hour, 8, the third, 9 a.m., the fourth, 10 a.m., the fifth, 11 a.m., the sixth, 12 p.m., and then on and on until it reached the the 12th hour, which was even, even at 6 o'clock p.m. And then that's when night started. So the first hour of the night will be 7, the second hour of night will be 8, and so on, third, 9, and so on, and so on. The sixth hour will be the midnight. And then plus, and then it will go on, the seventh hour will be 1 a.m., 8 will be hour 2 a.m., and, and then so on, until 12th hour would be 6 a.m. Check out this. Let me read. Let me read of you. Let me read to you the Book of Mark, and chapter thirteen. You know, there's other scriptures that I wanted to mention about the hour of temptation, but you know, I, I really want to put this in here before we close the video. It says here in the Book of Mark, chapter thirteen, verse thirty-two. It says, "But of the day and the hour knoweth no man." No, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. We might not know the hour, but we know the, the you know, the season. You know, when the two witnesses are, are killed, you know, in Revelation chapter, chapter 11, and, you know, it pretty much tells us that Christ is going to come pretty soon after that. As a matter of fact, three days and a half after that. But it says in verse 33, Take ye heed, watch, and pray, for you know not when the time is. Verse, again, Jesus commands us to watch. You know, we're watching, we're supposed to watch. Remember Revelation chapter 4? I mean, Revelation chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Therefore, those shall not watch. I will come to you as a thief. You know, Jesus, uh, you know, they, they come with that any moment doctrine that Jesus can appear at any time. But Jesus debunks that. He says, If therefore those shall not watch, if you should not watch. In other words, if you watch, if you watch Christ is not going to come to you as a thief. But if you're not watching, as it is written there in Revelation chapter 4 and verse 3, it says, it says let me read it properly in the, uh, Revelation 4 and verse 3. I mean, 3.3, 3, Revelation 3.3, 3, forgive me. It says, Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. And there, if therefore thou shall not watch, remember that big word in the Bible, if, if therefore thou shall not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. When? When you're not watching. See, Jesus doesn't come as a thief in the night to everybody, only to those that are not watching, and to those that are asleep, as it is written here in 1 Thessalonians, and chapter 5, and verse, uh, I think it's 4, right? 1 Thessalonians, let's see if I can get there right quick. 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, and verse 3, and then verse 4 says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that the day should overtake you as a thief. See, we're not in darkness. That day's not going to take us as a thief because we're not in darkness. You are all, this says, you are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor are of the darkness. So Jesus is not going to come as a thief to everybody. Yes, it will be in a moment at the twinkle of light, at the last trump. As it is written there in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. But he doesn't, he, doesn't, he can't appear at any time. Jesus comes right after Satan and he makes it very clear right here. Check out this, what verse 34 says. Take heed, watch and pray, for you not know when the time is. Verse 34 says, For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his, his work. And commanded the porter to watch. He wants us to be watching. And verse 35 says, pay attention to this. 
It says, Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the, the master of the house cometh. That's Jesus. You don't know when the master of the, the, the master cometh. At even, at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. You know, midnight, I mean, uh, the evening, what, what time was the evening? Well, the book of Matthew, chapter 20, and you read the parable and you go along with the hours, the day, the first hour the, the, was seven, the second hour, you know, was, was, uh, was eight, you know, third hour, nine, during Matthew 20, and then you come to the twelfth hour, which was even, which is our six o'clock p.m., so then we have the first six, even was six o'clock p.m., Watch you therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, even at six o'clock, at even, which is six o'clock p.m., or at midnight. Of course, the sixth hour of night in the Jewish, in the Jewish, you know how they would do it back then. Was midnight would be the sixth hour. So there we have the second six. The sixth hour was midnight, or at the cock crowing you know and according to the companion bible and also in uh, other sources the cock crowing was twice one at the third hour which was 12 to 3 a.m and there was a second one which this one mentions the second hour here in appendix 51 in the, in the companion bible the cock crowing mark 13 35 there were two one after midnight and one before dawn, meaning right before daybreak. In other words, right before daybreak will be six. There we have the third six. So we have, watch you therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh at even, which is six o'clock p.m., at midnight, which is the sixth hour, or at the cock crowing at six a.m. Then we have three sixes. For you know not when the master cometh, at even, six, or at midnight, six, or at the cock crowing, six, or in the morning. The word morning in the Greek meant dawn or daybreak, which was would be seven o'clock a.m. So what is Jesus telling us? Watch you therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at six or at six the hour six hour or at six a.m. the cockroaching at six 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 or at the morning seven in other words he's at, he say does Jesus come at the six 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 or does he come at seven praise God and then you'll probably say well now nah, he's just playing with numbers well there's no doubt that if you put even at 6 p.m., R6 p.m., even at 6, R6 p.m., and then you add 6, it would bring us to midnight. And then you would add another 6, it would bring you to 6 a.m. Again, he mentions the three sixes. Do you know when Christ comes? Does he come at 6, 6, 6? Or does he come at seven? Representing the sixth trump, the sixth bow, and the sixth, the sixth seal when Satan shall be here ruling as the Antichrist. Or does Jesus return at the seven, meaning the seventh trump, the seventh seal, the seventh bow? Would you be able to tell the true Jesus? Would you be able to, you don't know if it's the Son of Man or maybe it's Satan. Verse 30 says, Lest suddenly he findeth you sleeping, like he like he saw, like he found the disciples sleeping. And I say unto you, I say unto all. So Mark 13 is for everybody. <laughs> Watch. Praise God. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Um, you know, God bless you. And I hope you stay in God's word. And uh be watching. You know, watch and pray that you fall not into temptation. You know, and uh, God bless you. We love you. And uh, we'll be praying for you. Pray for me. And uh, remember always, you know, uh, 
King Dragon. And thank you. God bless.